Chess friends, get ready to witness an utterly unique chess game, today we'll unravel the mysteries of a typical 600 elo chess match that's the oddest I've ever come across, this game is played between a Stockfish subscriber and a Gothamchess subscriber, let's get started, Stockfish sub started the game with knight f3, black's opening with e6 and knight h6, which are like the why did the chicken cross the road jokes of chess, why not go for a classic e4 or develop your knights sensibly. Then there's the bon cloud opening appearance, maybe inspired by too much levy. It's as useful as a screen door on a submarine, white pulls off a showstopper with a3, knight g5 which is basically the I brought a rubber chicken to a sore fight of chess moves, it's like sending a lone soldier to a water balloon fight, ineffective and soaking wet, blacks laughing all the way to king e8, painting a target with neon lights, develop your pieces sensibly or join the circus, we have a5, and bishop b5, sending an open invitation to take the queen, but our hero Gotham sub. A proud member of the blunder club, says, why not put my rook on a7 and call it a day, his brother stockfish sub, the master of obliviousness decides not to snatch the queen but instead, retreats the bishop like it's nap time, it's chess or is it a sitcom, white's moves are as unpredictable as a cat in a room full of laser pointers, first the bishop waltzes over to b5 and then white goes, abracadabra, and swaps it for a knight on b5, castle and black could take the knight. Queen takes b5 to create pressure on this file, open up the line for bishop, game could play like this but it is a 600 elo chess, Gotham played knight a6, blocking the rook escaping line, couple of moves later, we have rook to c5, his rook is completely paralyzed, white's best move is to play d4 and then after rook a5, bishop d2, then oops, knight back to save the day, but hold on to your hats folks, because there's a brilliant twist in this alternate reality, knight d5 check. Putting that rook in the spotlight, but 69 IQ stockfish sub didn't find that move, he played knight a2, two moves later, white's playing hide and seek with their sea pawn, but Gotham subs got better things to do, like daydreaming about Gotham City, queen d1 knight b8, d4, here best move for black is to save the rook or play bishop g7, because white bishops are ready to do nightmare on queenside with the crazy knight before move, but black goes for f6. A move so eccentric it's like trying to fit a giraffe through a revolving door, white goes for d5, targeting the rook, but Gotham sub, in a move reminiscent of trying to find your glasses while wearing them, blunders the rook, and guess what? Stockfish sub the detective of obliviousness, doesn't uncover the hidden treasure of pawn takes rook, it's a chess mystery and the plot, hold on to your horseshoes, because white's knight on g1 is on a vacation. In the wild chess jungle we witness a true comedy of errors, black plays rook g7, sacrificing a knight for. Well, who knows why. The rook decides it had a change of heart and retreats, like trying to unsend a text message, then white chimes in with yet another bishop blunder, I mind want to sing the 200 elo rated Japanese song, Dome Dome Dharma Na O, Dome Na O, Kud Na O, See You A, Na For O See Ya, Ha 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 Ha, I think I occurred some pronouncing mistakes. Anyway at least I don't play chess like you, 600 elo rated human, in this position, white have the chance to play bishop d3 and trap the rook, but he played before, blundering his knight, but black didn't take it, knight c3 to trap the rook, in the grand chess opera, white's best move should be bishop to d3, but it's like they've got chess amnesia, it's as if they're in a medieval castle with a captured knight shouting, save me, but Gotham chess our brave knight says. Nay let's sacrifice the rook and add some drama, chess, where every move is a plot twist, in the thrilling chess saga, white finally uncovers bishop takes rook, like they've just deciphered the da Vinci code, rook to d8, bishop takes pawn with a hint of discover attack for extra drama, but black in a slapstick twist, goes oopsie daisy, I'll just blunder my queen once more by moving the rook, it's chess, the comedy edition, where the blunders are the real star, oh the suspense continues. White misses the golden opportunity of bishop takes queen, like searching for a needle in a haystack while it's poking them in the nose, Black thrilled to still have their majesty intact, breathes a sigh of relief, then in a twist as sweet as a comedy's punchline we get c5, but Gotham sub, our resident chess detective, doesn't even know about on Passan because it's as elusive a unicorn for a 600 elo player, c takes b7, the file gets open, 
Queen takes b7 and here best move for white to play knight g5. Let me show you the variation, knight d5 is unstoppable, it will bring disaster to the king, so after bishop f8, knight to d5, check in style, it's like the knight just walked the red carpet in the chess world, you have to sacrifice the queen and there will be checkmate in few moves, we've got two players who are more like chess toddlers than grandmasters, white boldly plays queen b3 but the opportunity for checkmate sits there like a forgotten teddy bear in the crib. Black sacrificed his knight but white who's clearly teething on chess tactics, doesn't seize the chance for knight to g5 and knight to d5, best move for white is to play knight d5 check, king backs then we will sacrifice the rook, takes knight c7 check, if king f6 happen then queen e6 will be a checkmate, but 600 elo rated players can't calculate more than one moves, they just click on the random pieces and make moves. The queen's been under attack for three moves and white's rook is sliding around the board like it's auditioning for a role in a soap opera, black finally find knight takes queen, and they are just blundering the game, evaluation bar is started dancing, why stockfish sub don't just play knight g5, after rook c8 then knight d5 check, the king have only one square, then g4 will arrive, it will be a checkmate, but in our actual game, they didn't find one single best move, this game is minus 100% accurated, here white can take the pawn with a fork, which will be a checkmate in a few moves. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.